here at CES 2019, autonomy is all the rage, and that's why we're at Hitachi's booth checking out some of their cool self-driving technologies. The one that impressed me the most is their new long-range summon technology. Now, we've seen the ability to summon a semi-autonomous car with a smartphone before, but what's interesting about this technology is the way that it seamlessly transitions between a learned path that's established when you park the car and things that may happen along the way that you didn't expect. In the demonstration, for example, it's parked nose in, but when you summon the vehicle, it dynamically backs out and makes a three-point turn. It then gets back on the path that you established when you parked, but then there's a shopping cart in the way and it just smoothly goes around it. In the demo, there's also a human that steps out from between two vehicles and the car is able to sense that, stop for the pedestrian, and then pick right up along the way. Meanwhile, the user back at the summoning point is getting a live update of where the car is, how far away it is, and what's happening. Is there a person in front of the car? Is it going around the shopping cart? All of that shows up live on a smartphone app. In addition to this technology, we also got a glimpse at Hitachi's road sensing camera technology. It uses two stereoscopic cameras at the front of the car to detect bumps and dips in the road. So if there's a pothole, it can see that pothole before you get to it and allow an adaptive suspension to adapt before you hit it as opposed to when you hit it. That means that the bumps get smoother, there's less noise in the car, and it's a much more comfortable ride. Hitachi told us that in the future, they'll be able to even use this technology to detect speed bumps and perhaps even slow the car down automatically because not only do you want the person in the car to be comfortable, you want those outside of it to be more safe. That's been your look at the most interesting technology Hitachi's showing off at CES 2019. Be sure to check out the rest of our coverage of the show for even more cool car technology.